this is gate 2021 question from the relational algebra okay let's solve this question this is actually very simple question for this type of questions what you have to do one thing i told you for this type of question where you are joining tables for this type of question where you are joining tables i told you the best method to solve these type of questions for analysis how to do analysis of this type of question write the table side by side yes or no write the table side by side i told you this this is the best way to analyze what is the best way to analyze create logical structure logical structure you create what to do you create logical structure by putting all this okay by putting table side by side by putting tables side by side so just put the table side by side and create the logical structure so here how many tables are there the following relation records the age of 500 employees of a company there are uh, in this company there are 500 employees and uh, this emp number employee number this employee number is basically uh, is the key and this table is given to you employee age okay employee number and age so there is this table what is this table employee age this table you have employee age table you have in this employee age table what you have in this table you have basically employee number okay there is employee number or employee id so here you have employee number and also you have age and you can notice how many times i am taking this table tell me how many times i am taking this table two times okay because i am i am joining this table with itself this join this table i am joining with itself so this table i am joining with itself and this is renaming this is simple renaming yes or no this is a simple renaming this is a simple renaming we are renaming this uh, the attributes of this table we are renaming attributes of the table tell me what we are renaming are we renaming the table are we renaming the table table name so table name we are not renaming we are renaming the attributes you can notice the attributes we are renaming so this attribute will become this this attribute will become this okay so we are renaming the attributes i can say okay we are renaming the attributes so if you are renaming the attributes then you can write the table on side by side so this is your employee age and here also you have e number one age one okay this is what you have very simple okay now tell me what the what this query is doing what this join is doing this is the join conditional join okay this is the conditional join if you notice so this is your i can say this is the conditional join this is the conditional join okay you are joining these two tables and this is the condition what is the condition the condition is age should be greater than age one this value of age this should be greater than this value of age one this value should be greater than this value okay it should be greater than this value now then finally what we are projecting finally what we are projecting finally you are projecting employee number okay finally you are projecting this employee number this employee number you are projecting okay so this is the idea now tell me what do you think what will be the answer what do you think what will be the answer the above query will generate these options are given to you the above expression will generate employee number of only those employee whose age is maximum employee number of only those uh, employee whose age is more than the age of exactly one other employee uh, employee number of all employee whose age is not minimum and employee number of all employee whose age is minimum so tell me ultimately you are going to get these employees see very simple point i am saying ultimately you will get these employee ultimately you will get this employee you will get ultimately you will get this employee but when will you get this employee tell me when will you get this employee ultimately this even you will get let's call it even this even will you get but ultimate but okay what may what will make it uh come to the output tell me what will make it come to the output if you want to take it to the output if you if you if you want to take it to the output then what must happen what must happen i can say this must happen that this is okay whatever age you put here this is definitely must be greater than okay some some uh, some row here there should be some row basically there should be some row remember there should be some row there should be some row where this 17 is greater than this age maybe maybe some age 15 here 
of course this cannot be even right can this be even can this person be even can this person be even no this person cannot be even why what is the reason this person cannot be even because this is the candidate key this is the key this is the key already it is given this is a candidate key so this person cannot be even so you okay this employee number is a candidate key this employee number this is a candidate key remember this employee number is the key this employee number is the key this employee number so you cannot have two employees with the same number okay so i can say it can be something e2 it can be some e2 can be some small okay kid so in this situation you will put even here okay so i can say one more thing one more thing remember here you can have some row you can have any number of rows okay you can have any number of rows of this situation of this situation you can have any number of rows for example if you have this also okay if you have this also there is e3 also and there is 14 then also this will go then also this will go so this can be i can say elder than this even can be elder than any number of people this even this can be older than any number of people this can be older than any number of people okay in which situation you will not get this output okay in which situation you will never get this output for example if i ask you this this e3 okay in which situation you will not get into the output you will not get into the output in which situation when there is no row in which situation you will not get this into the output when there is no row remember when there is no row when there is no row of this type okay when there is no row where so this has a is 14 now there should be no there should be no employee yes or no there should be no employee with the age less than 14 agree or not there should be no employee with age less than 14 okay so there should be no employee i can say there is no row where this value is less than uh, where this value is less than 40 okay where this less than is this the way this value is less than 40 this type of row must not be there and something e4 okay there should be this there should be not this type of row agree or not tell me because just think about it tell me this e2 will be in the output or not this e2 will be in the output or not this e2 e2 will be in the output or not because of whom this e2 will be in the output because of whom this e2 will be the out in the output because of e3 this e2 will be in the output because of e3 because what will happen because this will happen you can notice this e2 will be in the output because of e3 so ultimately actually what will happen this will happen see this e2 will be the output because e2 has age 15 now e2 will be in the output because of e3 because e3 has age 14 so definitely this will be in the output okay e2 will be in the output so i can say that e3 will not be in the output this e3 will not be in the output if it has minimum age can i say can i say e3 will not be in the output if it has minimum age so ultimately i can say minimum age people are not going to the output minimum age people are not going to the output okay minimum age people are not going to the output so the answer will be option c okay minimum age people are not going to the output so for this question answer will be option c is this clear to everyone tell me in the same question let me do some variations in the same question let me make some variations if i make this greater than equal to now if i make this greater than equal to in the same question if i make this greater than equal to so in this situation what will be the answer all employee number you will get yes or no because now now what will happen automatically trivially you will get what is the reason you will get all employee number what is the reason you will get all employee number because trivially you will get because you can notice even 17 will come with even 17 e2 15 will come with e2 15 e3 14 will come with e3 14 okay of course there will be many more rows but you can notice these are the trivial rows e3 17 uh, or i can say e3 14 e3 14 will come with e1 17 also but you can notice because of this tuple because of this tuple he will go to the output he will also go to the output he will also go to the output so this is the idea is this clear to everyone tell me now this becomes very trivial now this becomes very trivial this question so here if you do this then all employees you will get okay what you will get then you will get all employee number okay 
the answer will be all employee number is this clear to everyone now in this question tell me if i do this change another variation let me take let me take another variation that if i if i project this if i project this instead of projecting this e number instead of projecting this e number if i project this e number now what will be the answer in the same question i am projecting e number 1 e number 1 if i project e number 1 now tell me now what will be the answer now remember okay when your out when your employee will go to the output just tell me this simple point just tell me this simple point when your employee will go to the output when this person when this person let's call it e let's call it e4 uh, maybe you can call it e2 when this e2 will go to the output remember e2 has age 15 this e2 has age 15 so when he will go to the output he will go to the output because of e1 because there is a elder person because there is a elder person because there is a elder person so he will go to the output so he will go to the output yes or no he will go to the output but what what about e1 can even go to the output can even go to the output tell me can even go to the output can even go to the output even has age 17 can even go to the output if even wants to go to the output then there should be someone here there should be someone here with age greater than 17 okay there should be someone elder there should be someone elder so i can say you will go to the output if there is someone elder than you agree or not agree or not you will go to the output you will go to the output if there is someone elder than you you will go to the output if there is at least one person elder than you if there is at least one person older than you so i can say in this situation answer will be what all the employees whose age is not maximum all the employees whose age is not maximum all the employees whose age is not maximum so these people will go to the output tell me is this clear those people whose age is not maximum those people will go to the output find employees of maximum age find employee numbers of maximum age employee how will you do this how will you do this find employee number of maximum age employee how will you do this you can find those who are not maximum age yes or no very simple okay from all employees from all employees from all employee number you can remove not maximum yes or no agree or not employee number with not maximum age with not maximum age this is what you can do okay from all employee number you can remove all the employees whose age is not maximum from this you can remove this this is very easy how to find this all employee how to find this all employee all employee number this is very simple just protect just project the employee number from the employee age this relation from this relation you just project the this project you do minus this we have already written yes or no this we have already written that what you do basically employee one this these two table you do the join you do their join okay so what you do here so this employee uh you do their conditional join you do their conditional join this employee and this employee two and what you do basically this e1 e1 dot uh, age should be less than e2 dot age even dot age should be less than e2 dot age then you can project the then you can project even dot employee number correct yes or no is this clear to everyone the same thing we have done the same thing we have already done basically what you will do these employees join with these employees such that such that i want those employees whose age is less than some employee i want those employees whose age is less than some employee okay i want those employees whose age is less than some employee then i will project these employees even dot employee number okay so this is your query for the first option
remember this is how you can write the query for the first option so we have seen how to write query for this option okay how to find whose age is minimum how to find whose age is minimum that is also very simple what you do option c you remove okay all employees from all employees you remove the option c from all employees you remove option c agree or not agree or not so from all employees you remove the option c so if i if i ask you whose age is minimum then what you will do if i ask you whose age is minimum then what you are going to do employee with minimum age okay so whose age is not minimum so whose age is not minimum means there should be someone greater than them whose age is not minimum means their age their age should be greater than someone their age should be their age should be greater than someone their age should be greater than someone okay yes or no tell me is this clear to everyone